But let's start with sleep. When I think about your work and I think about hormesis, it strikes me that sleep is a is a sort of the oddball because you could make the case that not sleeping well and not sleeping enough is sending your body a signal that actually there's a problem. You know, I need to hunker down. Whereas most of the evidence that I've seen suggests that, you know, getting decent amounts of sleep, deep quality sleep, actually helps reduce your risk of all kinds of diseases. And I'm sure it's going to have an impact on aging as well. Right. So sleep is an exception. If you don't get enough sleep, then you've got cortisol levels going up. And it's it's very clear that if you don't sleep well, you will age faster. Um, I'll, I'll give you the best example. If you take if you take a rat and you deprive it of sleep for two weeks, after that two weeks, it will have type two diabetes. That's how important sleep is. Um, and so think of sleep as something that's t- totally connected to the, the clock of aging. So CERT one is the enzyme that we work on in my lab, and resveratrol and NAD activate it. We talked about resveratrol, talked about NAD and NMN. Now, SIRT1 is not just central to our health, cardiovascular disease, inflammation, longevity, but during the day, the same enzyme controls the body's sleep-wake cycle. Without SIRT1, you don't sleep properly. Your body doesn't um, have a, a proper circadian rhythm, as it's called. So what does that mean? Well, if you disrupt your sleep, you're going to disrupt your body's ability to repair itself. And actually, as we get older, our lack of uh, CERT1, which is often due to obesity and lack of exercise, will make it harder to sleep normally as well. And and there are plenty of people who are elderly who do not sleep well, in part because their CERT1 and their NAD fluctuations are out of sync and not, not really high amplitude. They just waddle along. So what does this mean? It means sleep is longevity and longevity gives you sleep and they're interconnected and to mess with one and not get the right amount of sleep is just going to put you on a path of aging more quickly. I think I read somewhere that in your own life, uh, you, you've had to make some changes in order to sleep better. One of them being wearing blue light blocking glasses. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, I, I've never slept well without help. I typically um, go to bed late. Uh, I've been going lately to sleep pretty late, uh, one, two, three o'clock in the morning. Um, I have friends overseas. This is my problem. But but I've learned to be able to modify my life so that I get better sleep and deeper sleep. Um, but, yeah, I, I now re- relax. I don't read emails past 10 o'clock. And I also um, tend to wind down and not stress uh, late at night. And the blue block, blue light blocking glasses have been helpful too. I try not to stare at a screen. And if I do, I turn down the blue light on my computer and on my phone. When you were talking about Cert 1 there, it, I also thought, well, actually reversing someone's age actually may also help improve their sleep, right? Because as you get older, you don't sleep so well for a variety of reasons, including biological ones. So it, it, it seems reasonable then that reversing the clock is actually, for some people, going to help them sleep better? Yeah, right. Well, exercise and, um, and a good diet really does help with sleep. We see that. Uh, what I'd like to do now, is now that we can reverse the age of the brain, is test if uh, that improves the sleep wake cycle of these old mice. Um, we do know that if we feed them NMN or resveratrol, they do sleep better and they have better rhythms. Um, and uh, so that would fit with that theory. Yeah.